Hi, it's Jira, and today welcome back to another video. It's been a while uh, since I last talked on a video, and basically, what I, what it is is uh, if you've seen the title, uh, Cobra Fury VXR, a new 17 style inch gamepad tablet. And you're probably thinking, 17 inch, that is huge. Well, it is going to be basically, folks, what you see in here is the Razer Blade Pro 4K gaming laptop, and what we're going to do is we're going to convert this laptop into a handheld gaming device. I mean, it's physically, basically like the Razer Edge Pro, but more of a modern uh, 2019, or be probably 2020 uh, gaming laptop, um, sorry, uh, handheld device by the time this finishes. I've given myself a year to do this, because it's it's gonna be a lot of testing, like at the moment I'm doing testing, at the moment you, we're testing on battery. I'm just testing to see what it's like, and we're playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's 720 resolution, I'm getting roughly about 50 frame rates a second. And as you can see there, it looks pretty good. And probably only one of the best devices that you could actually play is out of Breath of the Wild comfortably at good FPS and good playability. So at the moment, you've seen some of the videos that I've done. Uh, we are testing, I've tested games like Grand Theft Auto V and uh, Skyrim, you know, The Witcher 3, all the top games and all that. And recently I've just been testing at Grand Theft Auto V and getting full 60 FPS. Uh, uh, 1080 resolution, medium settings, high settings, ultra, I've done them all, so uh, just to see if it can play well. And what's good about this when you play this on battery and using this 4K screen, it plays it really well and it's really sharp. My camera can't pick it up as good as it could, could be, but it still looks awesome. So that's with that. And so at the moment, I'm just researching it at the moment. So you can imagine there, I mean, it's not going to be uh, it's going to be a proper chassis, the, the Razer taken apart, not this Razer, would be mine another one. And we're going to be making it into a handheld, so you can imagine they're a bit like the Razer Edge Pro, like coming out of here, the controller there, same on that side. I know what you're thinking, 17 inches is huge, but trust me, if you're playing games on battery on this, that 17 inch screen, it's, it's amazing. So imagine this as a gamepad. A lot of people I've spoken to, just to ask for a bit of feedback, um, they think it looks going to look pretty cool um especially if you're playing like i can assume like call of duty at 1440 60 fps will be pretty awesome so i'm sitting in the midst of just testing at the moment and just see what games can and cannot be uh you know played well but zelda breath of the wild definitely a good contender and you see that looks pretty good i'm trying to get a graphics pack i used to have uh to make it a little bit more uh Better, it seems to slow down a few, but I, I don't have the original graphics pack I used to have. It's still a lot of the new ones, but it looks pretty good. So the testing will continue. Um, I will definitely have bigger storage in, and um, I will try and keep it as thin as I can. Um, but more like I like better airflow um, for this device. I don't want it to overheat. I've uh, been seeing some mods and techniques that people have been doing on YouTube, so I look forward to doing them as well. So, as I said, it's going to take us about a year to make this. A lot of it will be research. Um, uh, choosing what controller to use, so I've got options there. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure yet, but hopefully the chassis probably um, start trying now, maybe February or March, so this is a project, so this is what I'm concentrating on at the moment. So, if, but if I do see, uh, if there's like videos out there of other emulators and stuff, I will probably cover that still, but this is what I'm doing at the moment. All my time is devoted to this, so there's a lot of testing going on at the moment because I want to be 100% sure because buying a second hand razor is not cheap, especially this model, uh, second hand one, 1600, 1700pound minimum, so it's, it's a lot of money, so, so. Uh, yes, I've seen it where you can, you know, buy the parts individually, but by the time you put it all together, it's probably cheaper to buy it or well, pre-configured, like, you know, so. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, where I'm at the moment. So, hopefully, with the testing done, then I can start designing uh, the chassis itself and then see where we are. But I hope you look forward to this project. It looks pretty cool. It looks neat. Uh, even playing the Razer on battery looks awesome. So you can imagine when it's in a gamepad and you're right in the action. So yeah, see what happens from there. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little short video. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.